The topic of the panel was the conflict that we have to some extent between our desire as a society to protect privacy, uh, but also to have a free press. And so one of the key questions we were answering is whether we should have more regulations in the age of new sites such as Gawker and others. The concern uh, that people have uh, is that we are going to either allow for people's privacy to be violated and for certain details about their lives to be disclosed on the internet forever and that they can never get rid of and, and can never repair, or on the other hand that we are not going to be able to, uh, to protect speech. I came out on the side of saying that we should have no more regulations than we currently do because the common law is able to deal more flexibly with the kinds of questions that arise. Hulk Hogan was the subject of a, a sex tape uh, when he had an extramarital affair with his best friend's wife. And his uh, best friend ended up disclosing that tape to Gawker and Gawker showed a 30 second excerpt from the about half hour tape. Hulk Hogan sued, uh, claiming that this had been an invasion into his privacy and, and making other claims. And he won at the trial court level because the trial court held that this was not a, uh, a newsworthy event uh, and awarded him $140 million. The cost of, uh, of the settlement and, and of this entire lawsuit ended up uh, bankrupting Gawker. Right now, the courts mainly focus on whether an event is newsworthy uh, to see whether it's something that the press can report on. And I think that that's uh, sufficient. Uh, and uh, even though the, the facts are often complex, it's the best way to address it. And it is, in fact, the type of framework that will maximize the kinds and quality of choices that people can make in our society. At times, people think that if we only had regulations, the rules would be clear. In the law, there is a big debate in a number of uh, subfields uh, between whether we should have rules or have standards. So rules set out ex ante, what behavior is acceptable and what behavior isn't. And while it provides a greater degree of notice to individuals, it also takes away from the flexibility of judges to deal with very specific facts. Standards pretty much have the opposite advantages and disadvantages. Individuals don't always know what is going to be acceptable in advance, but courts can adapt more flexibly to individual circumstances. And what we currently have veers more into the standards area, and I believe that it has to. Regulations run the risk of being either over-inclusive or under-inclusive, and, and so pulling us too hard either in the direction of uh, hurting privacy or too hard in the direction of hurting free speech.